this is probably a sad moment for you, the last no, no, game really here. It's sad. No, it's kind of exciting, actually. Uh, this ballpark has served the White Sox and the people of Chicago for 80 years. It's a grand and glorious ballpark, but um, it's past its time. You know, it doesn't serve the team well anymore, and it doesn't serve the fans well anymore. So it's time to retire the old Comiskey Park and ring in the new one. And then Chicago will have uh, the best of both worlds. We'll have the finest old park in baseball in Wrigley Field. We'll have the finest new park in baseball in the new Comiskey Field. We're going to have two great teams next year. You can't do any better than that. Have you been over to the new park? Have you seen it? You were instrumental in getting it. Many, many times. Every time I'm in the helicopter in the Chicago area, I say, uh, before we land, can we go fly over Comiskey Park? We go down and, and look in. On the morning of the All-Star Game this year, which was at Wrigley, I took the National Baseball Press uh, on a tour of the new Comiskey Park. And we got rave reviews. Since that time, the turf has gone in. Most of the seats are in. We'll be ready on opening day next year. We'll be on time, under budget. And it really is going to be a splendid park. The comfort of the fans is absolutely guaranteed. And now um, Mr. Reinsdorf has to produce a winning baseball team, and we're all set. Well, we look forward to seeing you in your regular place next year in the new Comiskey Park. This Cubs fan <laughs> is going to have season tickets in the new Comiskey Park. Okay, back to you, gentlemen. Thank you, Bonnie and Governor.